But next up, best podcast. And of course, there are some super familiar names in this one. So <laughs> I will uh, go through here and we'll all say who we would like to win. So we have The Downbeat, Hellbent for Metal, Life in the Stocks on Wednesdays, We Wear Black, The State of the Scene podcast, Sappin' in Podcast with Sean Smith and Pure Pleasure. So stay puffed. You can begin. Honestly, I have no idea which one of these is going to win or should win or whatever. Uh, I will throw my hat in for the the double duo of Hellbent for Metal and on Wednesdays we wear black. Uh, I mean, I know we're a little biased over here, right? Our own Matt Rushton, uh, you know, not best producer over here, co-hosts yeah. that one. So, like, you know, what can we say? But, I mean, uh, listening to, to him and Tom Dare, you know, talk about uh, things that don't really have a, a, a space right now, right, and get out there and say, like, like, this is, you know, the queer perspective of heavy metal and like, come on, people, let's talk about it because no one else is talking about it uh, as much as we are. I mean, that's so fucking important right now. Um, and then you could say the same thing with on Wednesdays, we were black, right? I mean, just getting a lot of conversations out there that haven't really been heard a whole lot before. So to my money, those are the two most important podcasts on this list and everybody should be listening to them um, and everybody else is, you know, good, good job job on you for doing your podcasts everybody but you're not hellbent for metal you're not on wednesdays we were black again flip the coin <laughs> yeah, i don't know <laughs> i don't savage. know flip the coin let's 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 wow. do it i don't, I don't know no, oh, I love man you went full savage but <laughs> honestly i i honestly agree with you i i'm really rooting for hellbent for metal just because i mean you you have to like if we weren't rooting for maza like that would just feel wrong and dirty and i know i heckle him constantly it's in my job description i have to um it's why they pay me and, and hey if it makes you feel any better he heckles me constantly so oh, please, how much like, you disrespect to you but constantly. we have our, our, our feud going on but i really really do hope to see him take this home he works very hard to bring these like stay puff said bring these conversations to the forefront mm -hmm. and i i want to see him get some recognition for that yeah, we're all big fans of Armaza here, and, and to get the biases out of the way, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if, I'm, I'm going to go three for three here. Of course, I want Hellbent for Metal to win. Uh, four for four. <laughs> for, for, for four, for all the reasons already stated, uh, you know, it's an important uh, contribution to the conversation overall. It's an underrepresented part of heavy music culture. Uh, Decibel once wrote a great magazine about queer culture and metal called Rainbow in the Dark which mm. I think also would have been a great name for this podcast, but you know, he didn't ask me what he should yeah, call it. <laughs> but uh, I, I, sh I also have to say that I'm a big, big fan of Sophie K in particular. Mm. Uh, I first became aware of her uh, a number of years ago now, probably like 10 years ago. I was actually helping to cast uh, a few faces and voices for alternative press when they were doing more stuff on YouTube. And her, she was one of the submissions that came through and was just a thousand times far and above the best presenter as they say in the uk over the dozens and dozens and dozens of, of other you know worthy worthwhile people who submitted so i've been a big fan of hers ever since then and i've loved watching her career grow and everything that she does and yeah so i mean i we gotta say hellbent for metal uh close second would be on wednesdays we wear black and nobody's mentioned it so i'm gonna mention it but do we help us appear pleasure is a super sweet guy and i have been on the pure pleasure podcast he has also been on uh one of mine uh the speaking destroy metallica podcast so uh just getting that bias out of the way uh but Dewey's a great guy he was a guitar player for portugal the man once upon a time he brings that touring musician experience to the conversations that he has with people on the show and i think that that's always a nice uh twist to the podcast platform but yeah hellbent for metal yeah, I'm super biased on this one. I mean, every single day on on daily, you know, we, we'd be bringing it up, we'd be plugging it. And I didn't realize it was such a space that where a light really did need to be kind of shined on it. I just wasn't aware and I was naive in that sense. And then starting to listen to the podcast and, and Maza and Tom just discussing all of these different topics and doing it in a way where it didn't feel like they were shoving opinions down your throat, but just being passionate about what they really feel and being cheeky about it too. They'll be talking about something extremely serious, but making you laugh at the same time. It was just, it's so flawlessly done. They put so much effort into their research and just making it as stellar of a podcast as they possibly can be. So, I mean, I'm absolutely rooting for them to win and to see <laughs> 
one of our very own not fest affiliated podcasts take that home i mean chef's kiss i just i'm yep. very hyped for them so and i'm gonna give maza a whoop whoop because i know he would hate it <laughs> yeah. all right everybody our checks are in the mail it seems like all right we should be expecting those anytime now yes absolutely <laughs>